What is going on guys? It's Toby here and today I'm actually taking Sally to Gainesville because I'm starting my semester at UF. So I gotta move everything back and I figured why not take you guys along for the ride. As you can see, this is my suitcase, all of my clothes. Now I do have an It's Just a Six poster in here. I entered his Hellcat giveaway and then I have BMR suspension pieces and a smaller pulley. Joining ah. us in Gainesville. She's a little camera shy, but the more we film vlogs, she's gonna get used to it, right? Speaking of Sophia, she actually got me this for Christmas. So this is a Grip Tech pulley, a 3.25 for when I go on E85 and want to make over 900 wheel. Box right here, I have motor mounts for Sally because the stock ones aren't too good. Huh? What I was gonna say is these are BMR. Yeah, featuring my underwear right here, but these are BMR vertical links. So this is to make sure that Sally has no wheel hop whatsoever. The goaded PC setup right here. So this needs to go to Gainesville and I have a few sponsored boxes to open up. So these are from Jegs. Before we pack everything away and get it in the cars, I also have to change Sally from the bead locks to the street tires because it's been raining nonstop and I'm not trying to make like a 200 plus mile trip on some crappy drag tires that have absolutely zero tread. So yeah, it wouldn't be the best decision to drive on those Mickey Thompson Street SS in this pouring rain. Now we're gonna open up the sponsored package. So we do have an impact gun from Jags. This is it right here. I think it torques to like 500 foot pounds. Yep. And they sent us a bunch of impact sockets as well. Now big shout out to Jags for supplying this whole thing. So you can see that we have impact sockets right here. It's an assorted kit. We have the impact wrench, which is really awesome. This will make taking the bead locks off really easy, but unfortunately I can't use it today because I forgot the spline key. You can kind of see Sally down there, but I'm gonna have to do it manually with that because it fits the spline of the lug nuts on the bead locks. I need to try and find an umbrella because it's still pouring, but you guys are gonna see Sophia's dogs once we get this open. <laughs> Weenie, what are you doing? What's up, puppy? He literally jumped into the camera. We change of plan. So it's still pouring outside. We're gonna wait and hold off on the wheels. We're just gonna transport basically all of everything we need to take to Gainesville and put it in the car. A side note, I also did get Sophia a cam for Christmas, but she's not sure if she's keeping her car. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll put this in, maybe we won't. One last thing I have in the bathroom that I need to grab. So my cosmetic bag and I'm good to close the suitcase. This is a moment of truth. I'm gonna sit on this and hopefully I can close it. Officially stopped raining. So now it's time to get to the wheels. We transported a few things down, but if you recall, I painted Sophia's calipers in a few vlogs back and here's an update on them. So this is like over 5,000 miles now. It's down. Also gonna go ahead and move my car to a better spot so we have more space because it's super tight in these corners right here. Why, why do you want to grab the jack, Sophia? Okay, so now we're set to go, and we're just gonna grab the jack and jack her up and change the wheels. Sally looks so clean parked up like this, but now we gotta get to work with these wheels because we're running just a tad bit late. And I'm just gonna remove the pilot sports out of my trunk, so I actually drive everywhere with these in the back. <laughs> You got it, big guy. Come on. These things are like 100 pounds. Don't break my gate now. Oh, you look like you do your own work now. I'm gonna wash my hands so I can grab my phone. I'll be back. Can we? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna jack her up and change the wheels. I was like, you're about to be pushing that for a while. <laughs> really? That was a fail. It was on the pin trail. I guess I get shot too much of the plastic and I just f***ed it up. Oh Lord. Well, good thing that's the plastic and didn't like break anything. Look, I was literally on the pin trail and it pushed it up. I just grabbed this so I could like lean over it. You should have filmed that. Did you? No. Oh. Try that again, I guess. I guess not push as much there. This should not f Let me see that last one we just hit. I don't know how to do that. Baby, you're recording right now. We're gonna drop the car back down on the jack stand nice and slow. Should be set properly. That's good. 
And now it's time for side number two to go down. There we go, you just drop it. <laughs> We're gonna wait so it stops raining because I think the camera's gonna get destroyed, but the car is all ready to go. All I have to do is loosen the lug nuts and we can put on the Michelins. So this is actually how you don't wanna do it. So this isn't how you're really supposed to do this. You're supposed to use a spline key, but I don't have one on me, I kinda lost it. And I think the guy that put these on last time at the shop actually used an impact gun, so it's on there way too tight. I'm gonna try the impact gun. So I'm gonna try this three-fourths impact socket, and I'm gonna get the gun out of here. So quick change of plans, we need the spline key. I don't know what I did with it. I thought I packed it when I came here, and I thought I could muscle it out with that thing, but obviously that's not working. Thank God AutoZone is coming in clutch so I can finally get those bead locks off. Sophia is kind enough to take me there. So I just pulled up. Let's hope they have it in stock so I can get these wheels off. We have some bit of bad news. They're actually out of stock and they don't have it here. So All right, I just turned off the AC so I wouldn't get the background noise. But now we're on the way to the second advanced auto parts to see if we can get the spline key there. So they had it at AutoZone. This is the part we need and the spline key. Now I don't think Sophia is too happy with me because I dragged her all over the place and I really hope that they didn't tow my car away. So I'm currently driving Sophia's car home because she lost her patience with me and I kind of told her that this was guaranteed to work but there's really no guarantee to that. We're just gonna do a little bit of trial and error. Now we're not gonna go to Gainesville tonight because it's gonna be way too late. So we're gonna go tomorrow morning and I hope that my car didn't get towed. Not even just a little, just, just a little whip. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, so I currently don't know what to do because that key did not work. So we're gonna try and come up with another solution here. I should have never lost that thing. So boys and girls, don't lose your spline keys. That was overall one massive fail, but now we're gonna go to O'Reilly's and see if we can try every single spline key they have there and hopefully one will fit. Okay, so now we're gonna get side number two down. This is a massive, massive fail. The only thing I accomplished today was ripping off my side skirt, which was off camera. So I jacked it up from the pinch rail and it ripped the whole side skirt off, but I got it back on now. Hopefully this time I have better luck. So we're at O'Reilly's now and we need to try every single spline key that they have in stock. I think this one might work, but I'm not sure. He just already tried a bunch of them. Yep. Okay, finally, Jesus. We're just about home now for the second time, but I wanted to show some rev matches. So we're getting off the highway. Hey. <laughs> All those burbles. <laughs> Hopefully this is the last time I have to do this. So I'm removing each lug nut in a star pattern. And then once I get it loose enough, which I obviously didn't do this time, I just hand loosen it from there. Last of the lug nuts came out. Now I'm just gonna remove the wheels. Now I just want to clarify something. Taking your wheels off in a star pattern is not required. That's only required when you put it on, but it's just a good force of habit for you to get used to. So that's how I got used to doing that when I put my wheels on. What you got, Mom? What'd you make? Some, I don't know. It's a bread <laughs> with a cheese on top. Stop. What's inside? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> We're not recording this one. All right, so I suppose it's time to go to Gainesville. Let's get a cold start in. Sounds good. Looks like I'm literally gonna have to wait until next year for this thing to warm up because it's so cold outside. So I think we're dealing with like 62 degrees or something like that. Yep, and the inlet air temps are really low. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just gonna take a very, very long time for it to warm up. Here comes Sophia. Honestly, I don't know what's up with Sally. Ever since I did that aftermarket RTR grill, it's been having issues with like all of the sensors going off. So maybe my guy who did that like tapped into one of the sensors and it's completely destroyed and it just keeps flashing hill assist and operative, pre-collision, all that stuff. So it's super annoying. <laughs> Saying goodbye to Orlando. So right now we're actually going by Volcano Bay and all of the parks. I'm gonna miss it down here. I've been here often actually visiting Sophia and we actually went to the parks. So I need to do another park vlog. I am gonna make a stop at the first service plaza here in Orlando. I need some gas and I need some caffeine because I'm about to fall asleep. And I'm actually pretty ready to go to class. I'm excited, it's my first day. So on the turnpike, they actually have E85 pumps. So I guess when I have my built trans, this is where I'll go to get all of that. But now I need to get some gas. 
So they don't actually have any bang here, which kind of sucks. So I don't think I'm going to get anything. I'm going to lie, I totally forgot how much better these tires are for handling. So like on on ramps and stuff, I can go a lot faster than I can with the bead locks. And the car overall just drives a lot more comfortably. The bead locks, it kind of just floats around. So honestly, I feel like an STI would be cool as like my daily driver. I do some mods to it and then have it as like my car that I drive pretty much every day and put like tons of miles on it. We're only almost about an hour away. But I wanted to be to do a pull for the vlog. <laughs> she pulled through. Drive has been beautiful though. Look at the sky. It's like crystal clear blue skies. But for anybody wondering what kind of MPGs I get in my boosted Coyote making over 700 wheel horsepower, I get 20.7 cruising on the highways. So that's pretty good. If I drop the RPMs and I go about 65, I'll get about 26 MPGs. And then in the city is where it suffers, so it'll get like 14 mpgs. Boys, this right here is the home stretch to Gainesville or UF, so we're literally almost there. It's one more exit, and I'm gonna be chilling at the apartment and going to class. Top last minute to go to Chipotle before class, but I just realized that I got a nasty rock chip, actually two from this trip alone. So you can see one right there, that's kind of annoying. Maybe I'll have to get the GT500 hood or do some sort of PPF, but that really sucks. And then I got another one right here. There was a semi that was flipping up rocks like crazy. This is what I got for lunch. So it's the usual, the steak, the block. And then I'm gonna have to go to class. Surprisingly excited to be in Gainesville. I usually hate being here. I guess I'm just excited to see the boys at the apartment because I haven't seen my roommates in forever. Just now pulling into the apartment, this kid who goes to UF pulled up next to me. Like he followed me in here just to say hi to me. So that was pretty cool. I'm actually gonna give him him a ride later on in the day when I don't have class so I think I'm gonna film that for YouTube I don't know yet but I wish I got the whole interaction on camera it was pretty cool honestly I couldn't be more appreciative of Sophia's help so not only is she helping me move all of my stuff by the way Sally's parked up but she's also gonna take me to class today so I don't have to take the bus when she leaves unfortunately I am gonna have to take the bus cuz I'm not paying for the campus parking pass this semester at all. It's crazy expensive. But yep, you guys probably recognize this from the old vlogs. This is my apartment and Sally is looking super clean. I'm kind of upset about those rock chips, but what can you do? It's a daily driver, so it's gonna happen. Maybe I'll just have to do the GT500 bumper and hood. Boy, oh boy, has it been a long time since I've been here. I wonder if the roommates are home. And so I'm kind of in a rush. I'm gonna probably be late as usual, but I need to put on a new parking decal on the car. And I don't think I'm gonna quite put it on yet. I'm just gonna put it on the dash and put it on when I have some time. Fun fact, this is the road that I got pulled over doing 120 and a 45. So it was like 12 o'clock at night. There was not a single person on the road. You saw one? I thought that was a clock. Oh my God. But yeah, there was not a single person on the road. I need a 120 and a 45 here. She is dropping me off at class like she's my mom though. I think I'm gonna be a little early too and I have my little backpack and everything. I just got out of class and I'm Sophia picked me up. You guys have to convince her otherwise. Like we need some comments down in the comment section below. Don't let her trade in the scat pack and get a truck. What do you think, Sophia? No, 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 no. We do some shopping, but now we're back home, so we have all the supplies that we need. Sophia's pulling in and then we have to unload everything. That's gonna be the big pain. to show the pool area of the apartment so that's it right there it's really nice in the summertime when it's not so cold out it's actually like 50 degrees and i've shown this before but straight ahead that is in fact the gym so we just gotta unpack the car now and i don't think we have anything else planned boom so it's officially the next day and we have moved the majority of what i have in the car so without sophia this wouldn't have been possible but i just need to set up my pc and then i'll give you guys a room tour she's currently struggling to breathe over there so she's using her inhaler so this right here is my setup up. that's like a 2k monitor and then I have a vertical 1080p one I used to stream a bunch like Call of Duty that type of stuff so I would read chat on that and then obviously this is my bed and that's the painting that my sister painted it turned out awesome it's Darth Vader and it lights up with LEDs Star Wars nerd as Sophia just said so we have the Mandalorian and then I have like uh, oh, one of these NASA <laughs> rockets no that's not Star Wars that's NASA <laughs> <laughs> 
And then this is my closet. So we do have a bunch of BMR suspension parts and engine mounts to put on Sally. Here's a few of my shoes. So we have the off-whites, some Jordan 11s. I don't know, don't quote me on that. And then this is the bathroom, super simple stuff. I also have this box of shoes that I need to put away. So this is gonna be a lot of unboxing and then just organizing in the closet. The whole collection of shoes, these are my favorites. So these are the Travis Scott Jordans and I'm pretty sure, actually I forgot what they're called, but we're just gonna put them on the rack. Just finished setting up the computer and everything. So I had to plug everything in and this is what the PC looks like. So it's all ready and set to go to edit up some more vlogs. And this is what the room looks like with all the lights on. So I have LED strips everywhere, that purple LED in the fan and then LED here and LEDs underneath the bed. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.